video I'm going to show you how to make this really awesome peacock wreath using items from the Dollar Tree and Walmart. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make it. Alrighty so let's get this started. Okay so if you watched my video that I posted yesterday on my little tiny craft room tour I did almost fall over my cat and a couple people have asked if they could see the kitty that I almost fell over and so here she is i call her black cat say hi look up look up look up say oh hello this is black cat um my white cat ran away and so i went to the shelter to try to get a new kitty and you know you always hear about what they say about the black animals the black dogs and the black cats their adoption rate is lower and their kill rate is higher so i made it a point to get an adorable little black kitty yes i did and she is my best buddy Say hi. Say hello. <laughs> but, um, yes, she is. Okay, go on outside. Go. Well, not outside, into the hallway. But anyway, she's so clingy. She, um, she follows me everywhere. I can't take a bath without her being there. And <laughs> she sleeps on my chest. And ever since I brought her home from that shelter, she has just clung to me like, eh. Okay. So, what we have here is one of these small little eight inch wreaths. I got this really pretty peacock Christmas ornament from Walmart. It was $1.97. I have, this is probably going to be plenty. I'm not sure about exactly how much mesh I'm going to use on the eight inch wreath form. I have four rolls, but you know, when I get the mesh on and I come back in the later part of the video, I will definitely tell you exactly how much mesh I used. I have two spools, which I don't know if I'm going to use all of this. I got these two spools of this really pretty ribbon from Walmart. This was in the Christmas section. It is one inch by 15 feet and it is two dollars and I got it because it matches this peacock so well. I have some of this purple ribbon that came from the Dollar Tree. This is some of their purple Halloween ribbon and it's almost the same shade as the purple on the peacock. I have a package of pipe cleaners, my scissors, and some wire cutters. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to be using the rolled method for this. And what I'm going to do, of course, to start with, is I'm going to take a pipe cleaner. I'm going to cut it in half. A lot of times I use my scissors for this, and I know that's such a no-no. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to try to start using my wire cutters. And I'm going to take that half of the pipe cleaner and fold it in half like a V. And now I'm going to take the mesh and I'm only going to use purple mesh on this. I'm going to do the rolled method. So I take the short end and you just roll the mesh over on itself a little bit until you have a little tube and then cut it. No, I don't measure this. If I had to guess, it'd be about four and a half to five inches long. Take another piece. Y'all can probably hear the little kitten meowing right now. It wants to be in here too, but it likes to climb on things and swat things while I'm trying to make videos. So I try to put it like in the living room with the kids. It don't want to have any of that. It wants to be in here being nosy. Now we're going to cut a piece of this really pretty ribbon. Uh, and this ribbon is wired by the way. And I measure that against the length of the mesh one and a half times. So one length of the mesh, and then half. I know I'm cutting wired ribbon with my scissors. Ah. So if your mesh is six inches long, one and a half times, you basically have a nine inch piece of ribbon. So now we're going to just cut a V in the end, which is dovetailing. We're gonna do that over here. Just like that. Okay, so now we're going to have, where did it go? The purple ribbon right here. Same thing. And I see a lot of people out there, you know, oh, I have tips and tricks on how you can cut your ribbon faster and cut your mesh faster. If you want to do that, that's fine. But you know what? To me, crafting is supposed to be relaxing. This is not an assembly line. I'm not some huge manufacturer. I do this to relax. So... I don't want to hurry up and speed through things. 
Now to make our little bundle here, you're going to take your mesh and roll it up and hold it like this. You're going to take another piece and roll it up like that. If your hands hurt you, you can use a tool. You can use like a Bodabra and put your mesh down in the clip. You can use a clothespin, one of those big hair clips. <clears throat> Excuse me, I believe they're called penguin clips. You can get them from Sally's Beauty Supply. Now you're going to layer your ribbon. You're going to have the wired piece on the bottom, the non-wired piece on the top, and layer them just like that with the pretty side facing your fingertips. Now, take your pipe cleaner and just sandwich everything in the little V. And try to keep it even. It's not going to be perfect. They don't have to be perfect. Nobody on this earth is perfect. My ex-mother-in-law thinks she's perfect. But that's called delusional, my friends. Okay, so now we take our bundle here. And for this little bitty form, I think I'm going to wrap it around the outer two right here. And then we're going to flip it over and give it a good twist on the back. I think the outer two will be just fine. Because... This is going to be pretty full as it is, okay? And I'm thinking if I put on the inner two, it's just going to crush it down in the center that much more, and it might be too crowded. I don't know. That's just the way I'm going to do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, with this ribbon, no, it's not wired, and it may flop a little bit. People ask how you can keep it to stick up. You could take just a little dot of hot glue, fabric glue, craft glue, whatever glue you want to use. Just put a little dot of glue on it and just glue it to your wired ribbon, just like that. And it will it will hold it up into shape okay so now i'm going to make more bundles i think i'm going to alternate i'm going to have a bundle with the ribbons on it like this and then a bundle without a bundle with a bundle without and i'm going to fill up this little wreath form and then i'm going to pause the video right now and when i come back i'll tell you how many bundles i have with ribbons without and all total so hang on just what i have so far i used three and a half rolls of mesh i did not even use a whole spool of this teal colored ribbon and of course not even half a spool of this purple ribbon i have 24 bundles total 12 with ribbon 12 without and on the back i just i just spaced it evenly that's all i did i just spaced it out and i will go back and i will trim down the pipe cleaners and make them look all nice and neat now for mr peacock here i cut the little hang tag thing off and because the holes on the back are kind of small, I use my wire cutters and I just kind of cut one of the holes bigger. And then I ran the pipe cleaner down through one hole and up through the other. And I'm just going to put him somewhere in the center of the wreath and then take the pipe cleaners and run it down through the mesh and attach them to the form. I said it was. Oh, Lord. All right. There we go. All right. I got it. Oh, Lord. My peacock's trying to escape. <laughs> Freedom! All right, flip it over. Now I'm not going to put a pipe cleaner on the tail, of course, because it's kind of thin and spindly and you would be able to see it. But if you want to, this is really sturdy. This is not going to come off. But if you want to, you could take like a little dot of hot glue, put on the back here where these jewels are, and just stick it down to the mesh. And now I will go back and trim away any little scraggly parts and I'll fluff up my ribbon and it will be ready to hang up. I might sell this one. I don't know. If you visit my website, I am going to have a shopping cart feature on there. I think it's just better if I do it that way on my own site than having to pay fees to Etsy or Artfire or anything like that. I've been thinking about this for a while. So I will be working on that later on today, getting things up for sale on my actual website. Links to all of that is going to be in the description box down there. So if you would, give me a thumbs up, click subscribe, Check me out on other forms of social media. Like I just said, the links to all of those are in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.